This is CryptoTube, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going through setting up our wallet on the Binance Smart Chain, BSC, so that we can use PancakeSwap and get involved with those passive income strategies from farming to staking on there. So we're gonna go through this today, get our wallets set up, and I'm gonna show you how to deposit to the BSC chain and then get involved with one of these little pools they've got going on over there on PancakeSwap. Things you're gonna need are a MetaMask account. If you do not know how to use MetaMask, come and watch this video down here, how to buy altcoins on Uniswap, because I go through the MetaMask setup there. Once you've got that, you're then going to need a Binance account as well. I'll leave a link to that down below. And third, if you cannot get into Binance due to your location restricting you, then use a VPN. The one I use is called Surfshark. Again, I'll leave a link to that down below. Make sure you stick around till the end of the video as you can then decide where we go next from here on PancakeSwap. So this is PancakeSwap here. You've got farms, you've got staking, there's a lottery going on. There is over $284 million of value locked on here already. The numbers are going up quite quickly as this is a cheaper and quicker version of Ethereum because it is on the Binance Smart Chain. BSC runs on top of the Ethereum virtual machine and this has many advantages and we're starting to see better quality projects come over to BSC. Maybe it's too expensive to run your dApp on Ethereum now and BSC is a more efficient alternative. And when you interact with this, it feels just like Ethereum in the setup. So it's not a difficult one to get involved with. But the most tricky part really is just setting up your MetaMask with the BSC chain. So let's just jump into that straight away so we can check out this site in more detail. On the Binance website, they have a document and guide page. And this is where I've got all the information in today's video. And the BSC network that we're gonna to connect to requires this information here, which I've put neatly in a text document that we're just gonna copy and paste over. It's also in the description for you. So if we click on our MetaMask account, and you can see currently we are on the Ethereum mainnet. So we want to connect to the Binance Smart Chain. In order to do that, we have to actually custom, create a custom RPC. Sounds a bit complicated, but I promise you it isn't. So we just click on that. There's a little bit of a warning saying that malicious individuals may be trying to steal funds, etc. So be careful about adding to new networks. Um, but we got these fields to plug into here. So I pull up the notepad once more and we can just copy those across. So essentially the network name is going to be Binance Smart Chain. The RPC URL is as follows. The chain ID is 56. The symbol is BNB. &B and the block explorer is bscscan.com. So if you just add all these details in here, then you just click save. Now from the drop down, we have Binance Smart Chain added. So just to check that the address is set up correctly, we can check that on the Binance equivalent of Etherscan, which is BSC scan. So BSC scan runs exactly like Etherscan, and we can just pop our address in here. So go onto our MetaMask, copy this to our clipboard and we're going to paste it in. Now we have a publicly viewable address as you can see and our balance is zero. So that's the next thing to go and sort out, adding some BNB to our address as BNB is now the gas of this network. So like you have to have Ether on your wallet to make transactions on Ethereum, you need BNB to transact on Binance. So as I say, if you haven't got a Binance account, go and get one. Use my link down below. That is the way you can help this channel out as they do have some small referral scheme there. Uh, and essentially, you're just going to want to buy BNB. So here is the token and we're going to have withdraw some right now and send it over to our address. So I've previously sent transactions from here. So I've already whitelisted my address down here. And as you can see, it's on the BSC chain. And so when sending this across from these two drop downs here, we want to click onto the BSC chain, so the Binance Smart Chain. It's going to ask us to just verify that we understand that we're sending it to the right chain, otherwise we'll lose our funds. And then we can see the fee down here, which is very small. The withdrawal is going to cost us around 8 cents or 0 0.002 
BNB. &B. So just to check, my BSC address matches with the whitelist address that I've added previously. I'm gonna send those tokens over. I haven't got a balance on here currently as I've already moved my funds over, but very simple to do. Send your coins over and wait. It will take a fraction of the time as it would on Ethereum, as the BSC chain is clearly a bit quicker as there's not as many users on it. So once you've withdrawn, you will have a balance on your MetaMask via the BSC chain. I've got 0.28 BNB in there and ready to go for this. So now we're on PancakeSwap and we have some funds. The main places to look at are really the pools. So these pools are the syrup pools. This is what I've been using as of late. You just have to stake your tokens, your cake tokens, and then you receive a payout from these. So literally it's like aiming your mass of coins to these various pools and then you get a payout from them. You can actually just stake cake for even more cake at an APY of 189%. So maybe if you haven't got many cake tokens, you can't afford them as they're currently $1.11 then this is a way of just amassing some more. If you click on details, you can see the total pool size. A lot in there, 55 million cake are already staked in that pool. So a very competitive one. If you go on these, you'll be able to see the total amount. So just over 12 million in here, and there's 102,830 reef remaining to be mined, as I would say in this instance, or staked away or whatever you wanna call it, or harvested as they've put here. So this is the total amount. So what you could do is actually work out what your percentage of the overall pool is, and then do a rough calculation as to what you're gonna receive by the end of this. But you're gonna to need to bear in mind a couple of factors. This number is generally going up as more people see the benefits of doing this and are joining these pools to farm these tokens. And therefore, if the pool is going up, your proportion of that pool is probably going down unless you're adding more cake. So you can get a rough calculation uh, but nothing set in stone. But you can work out some rough figures, so that's the main thing here. So the one that I'm currently in, if we just go down, is the Alliance block pool. And I think this is from either yesterday or the day before. So we're 24 or 48 hours in, and I've received 14 pretty much Alliance block tokens at this point. I've got roughly 873 cake tokens, and I've got them all aimed at this pool. So if I want to withdraw them and get them on my BSC wallet, I just click the word harvest up here and they will send them back to me. So if we just go ahead and do that for this tutorial, and then you, over here you can see the gas cost is just 0 0.002 and that is in BNB. And as BNB is around 30 bucks right now, you are talking around six cents only for the withdrawal. So that is the big difference between this and Ethereum. If I was doing a similar thing on Ethereum, I'm probably gonna be paying around 10 to 15 bucks right now. Did some trades earlier, they were costing me in that region. So big cost saving for getting involved with this. I wanna keep my tokens in here, so I'm not actually gonna go ahead with that. Also, if I had more cake sat on the side, I could add more to this by clicking the plus button and depositing more. So if you've just put some cake on here, you can come and click max, add them all to this pool and start farming away. Now what I like about this syrup pool is you don't have to put anything else up as collateral. You don't need any BNB apart from the gas costs like you do with farming where you have to have an equal percentage of both. There is no impermanent loss. You are simply staking on here. And they've also got some very good tokens, Frontier being one as well. Very good projects. And I'm seeing this with Binance Reef as well. They're able to onboard very good projects now as Binance has a huge marketing team. They have a huge uh, customer base and they have a lot of money so they can attract very good projects. So I expect that the pancake swap interface here generates more and more interest and a bigger user base over time as people cotton on to the fact you can get a huge APY on some of these coins. So imagine putting a thousand bucks into cake and you'll be able to get roughly 2000 bucks worth of these reef tokens on an annualized percentage basis. And then of course you retain your cake coins as well. So there's a lot of advantages to doing this and I think this will get more popular and we will get better projects as time goes on and BSC integrates with these top tier 
next projects to really become uh, the big names in the space. Reef's been getting a lot of coverage recently. Frontier is one to definitely have on the radar. And as you've seen, Alliance Block has been on a tear recently. But how do we actually get those cake tokens? Well, you can do that in two ways. We can go to the exchange or through Binance as well. So on Binance, you can just buy some cake. The markets are Cake BNB and Cake BUSD. Plenty of liquidity on there. So if you just want to buy them directly on Binance and ship them over via withdrawing them, like I did with the BNB, you can do that. Or you can use this, which is essentially like Uniswap, but on the BSC chain on PancakeSwap here. The interface looks exactly the same as Uniswap, and this is how it works. So we've got our BNB, essentially the equivalent of ETH, and then we can select our token. So if we just scroll through these, you can see there's a lot of different tokens on here, but we want to buy some cake to use in the syrup pool. Uh, we're going to put in 0.15 for now. And as you can see, you get the conversion rate. So 0.15 BNB will get us 5.46 cake. So this is at a price of 0.027 BNB per cake. The minimum I'm going to receive is 5.422. The price impact clearly very small due to the fact this is a pretty minuscule transaction. And then you can see the liquidity provider fee down here. So essentially this UI is very similar to Uniswap. So no huge barrier to entry in terms of the way this looks. It feels very similar and runs very similar. And if you want to buy, provide liquidity, they've got the liquidity tab up there, just like on Uniswap. So if you want to swap this, click swap. Got to confirm that. And then you can see in the MetaMask account here on my Binance Smart Chain, the actual gas fee is 0 0.0033 BNB only. So again, just pennies. And you can see the total transaction cost here. Looks very similar to Uniswap. Click confirm and then that will go through, but in a very quick amount of time. I can then view that on Binance Scan, and there we have it. It's all gone through, and that feels exactly like a Ethereum transaction. So of course you want to ensure that you retain some BNB on the account. I'm not gonna let that go down any further. I'm probably gonna buy a bit more BNB and get my total cake up to 1000 in the not too distant future. So other areas to look at, we've got the farms. So you've got your typical farming here where you need to provide BNB in equal measure to cake for this one or BNB to WSOTE, not exactly sure what that is. We've now got BNB to Frontier here, and you can see the APYs, they are pretty damn good. And sometimes they have very high APYs uh, in the thousands. So you need to monitor this, and when there's a good one, get involved pretty soon, as people do just ape in with this and chuck in quite a lot of funds. We've then got the syrup pools that we've just looked at, some very good ones on there. As I mentioned, if you wanna just get more cake, you can do that, or you can do your research into these projects and find ones with future value. That is what I've been doing personally, and I think that's something I'd like to bring to the channel. Um, finding the newest ones, and for example, doing a bit of a dive into it, and then showing you how I stake on top of them. Uh, to try and gain those rewards. And there's very little opportunity cost here. You've just got your initial outlay of the cake tokens that you need to buy. And then we've got another feature down here of a lottery. And this is one that I do wanna get involved with. So the lottery numbers are picked from one to 14. So there's only 14 numbers to choose from. You just take a random ticket. A ticket costs 10 cake, roughly around 10 bucks right now. Uh, but if you can get just two numbers, you can get a payout in the region of this. Clearly, it depends on how many entrants, but roughly 3,000 for two numbers, 7,000 for three numbers, and if you get all four right, 17,000 cake tokens. So these are big figures here. So I think I'm gonna have a little bit of a punt with this as well, uh, because if I can just get one of these two, two number winner, around 3,000 cake, that is a lot of cake tokens I can put into those syrup pools and we know they've got high APYs, and I think you can make a solid passive income off those. So risk to reward, of course, this is just straight up gambling, but I think I'm gonna have a little flutter with that. So one final thing to remember, if, for example, you go back onto Uniswap and you can't see your Ethereum anymore, that is because you're probably still connected to the Binance Smart Chain. So all you have to do is click back onto the Ethereum mainnet, and you will see your Ethereum balance once more.
So Pancake Swap feels a lot like Uniswap, but with a bit more involved there because you've got lotteries, you've got these staking pools where you're not going to incur in permanent loss. It's a lot cheaper, it's a lot quicker than ETH. There are many advantages of getting involved with BSC, so you may as well get yourself up to pace with this as I think it is going to blow up. A lot of individuals will be priced out of using Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain feels very similar. And so I think a lot of users will just move across to that. Now it's up to you. What do you want to see in the next pancake swap tutorial video? Do you want me to go through how to farm, how to buy, how to sell? What kind of things do you want me to show you? I'm going to do another video in the next seven to 10 days. So comment down below what you would like to see. We're almost at 9,000 subs right now. So if you could subscribe to the channel as well, I would be very grateful. Check out all the links I provide down below to support the channel as well. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.